The Huawei P30 series has some big boots to fill. Last year's P20 Pro set new standards for smartphone photography, something Huawei is keen to double down on in 2019 with the P30 and P30 Pro. As before, they're co-engineered with Leica. However, the P30 Pro gets new sensors, including the brand new Huawei Super Spectrum lens. That replaces the regular red-green-blue color filter with a red-yellow-blue version, allowing in far more light. In fact, the P30 Pro can crank all the way up to a record-breaking 409,600 ISO. You get 40 megapixels and optical image stabilization. Then there's the 5 times optical periscope zoom. That runs horizontally across the body of the P30 Pro with an 8 megapixel sensor and optical image stabilization. Using AI, Huawei can offer 10 times near lossless zoom or a 50 times digital zoom. A 20 megapixel ultra wide angle lens replaces the P20 Pro's monochrome sensor. It also doubles as a macro camera, capable of 2.5 cm minimum focus. Underneath, there's a time of flight sensor, which accurately measures the depth of the scene for more realistic background defocus. One of the new artificial intelligence talents is AI HDR Plus for portrait shots. That creates an exposure map, segmented based on light, then AI applies the right amount of HDR to each portion of the frame. The P30 compromises a little on the specifications to keep the price down. You still get a super spectrum lens, but without OIS and with a maximum 204,800 ISO. There's a 3 times optical zoom too, and it doesn't use the fancy periscope system. On the front, the P30 Pro has a 6.47 inch curved OLED screen, while the P30 has a 6.1 inch flat screen. Both have an in-screen fingerprint sensor, which Huawei says is highly improved over the Mate 20 Pro. A tiny notch holds a 32 megapixel camera for selfies. Huawei's own Kirin 980 processor is inside. Huawei has switched to a new memory system too, EROFS, for faster read performance and, so the company claims, almost no degradation over the lifespan of the phone. The biggest drawback of the P30 series is availability. As was the case last year, there's no official US launch planned. That means keen Android photographers will have to look to imports in order to satisfy their needs, and that could get expensive.